You're watching headlines today. Let's cut across live now to the press briefing of a documentary filmmaker Leslie Adwin, who interviewed Mukesh Singh, December 16 rapist. Promo, hai, ek minute ka promo, jo online available hai. Kya well, just, well, just one thing. Tripti is asking, what is the duration of the film? Uh, there are three versions of the film in terms of length. There is an international version which is 57 minutes. There is a festival version, the longest version, which is 62 minutes. Um, the BBC version is 59 and a half minutes. And only yesterday, uh, we were asked by NDTV, go, please show the whole film, because NDTV only have 40, 45 minute slots. And I've just sat at NDTV for two days, cutting a 62 minute film down to 45 minutes and hating it because I'm cutting such important insights, such gems in this film. And finally, I'm so, so grateful, we both are, to Pranoy Roy, who said, show the whole film. So the whole film is going to be shown on the 8th of March. 10th of October, which is cutting the book. Sorry, 10th of October? Which year? This happened last year or last year? Last year? What, the interview? Yeah. Uh, not last year, the year before. We have sat on the film for a very long time, but of course it also has taken a very long time to make it because it hasn't been made. You know, if there was anything sensational about it, we would have got it out immediately, right? There's, there's nothing sensational about this film. This film is a very serious campaigning film in the public interest. It is a film designed to, to see change, and it is already seeing change. नहीं हम लोग नहीं चाहते कि कोई उसको चलाया जाए और जब फिल्म चले क्योंकि वो इस पर हमने काफी सोचा इस बात प्रोमो एंड थिंग आई एम सेइंग दैट तो हम लोग अभी नहीं चाहते कि उसको चलाएं तो कृपया अगर आप उसको नहीं चलाएंगे तो ज़्यादा अच्छा होगा यस दे हैव वेल दैट वाज वन ऑफ़ द मोस्ट मूविंग um, episodes for me was sitting with them as they watched it and it's an hour long so sitting for an hour being so aware seeing the film afresh almost for me because I was seeing it only through their eyes every word that was being spoken I was seeing through their eyes and they sat and watched it in complete silence without any sort of overt response and at the end very in a very quiet and dignified voice, Badri spoke first, um, sorry, the father, the father spoke first, and he said, Acha, Bohot Acha. Good, very good. And they were obviously very moved, but very dignified as they are. They're extraordinary human beings. Their courage and their dignity is just... And in the film, this is so heartbreaking. I mean, people who have seen this film... Listen, I gave a TED talk the other day, and there was an audience, absolutely jam-packed uh, Indian audience watching the film, which again for me is a little rare, right? Um, and every single person in that audience wept. They were crying. There were tears coming down their face. And afterwards, people were running up to me. Some people were just saying, please let me hug you. Thank you for coming to my country out of love to do this, and what can I do? Give me an action, tell me what to do. One boy decided that he is going to start a, one, a first Sunday in the month continuing the protests to keep the spirit of the protests going. One person has said, because he knows that Nirbhaya wanted to build a hospital in her ancestral village, he will make his project getting that hospital built. You know, it's inspiring people to, to do good and to redress injustice, and, and, and it's wonderful from that point of view. Thank you. Well, this one last, last question. Last question? I don't know what the answer to that is. 
I really just, you know, I think, I think, if I'm trying hard to, to, because I've never really asked myself that question, but if I'm trying hard to give you an honest answer, I think it is the sense of commitment I feel to this issue. It's the degree of passion that I feel for the issue that actually takes me through. I mean, one of the tolls on me is a physical toll because I was, you know, working around the clock. I think for two years, I haven't really often slept more than two hours a night. So the physical stress, the emotional stress has been huge. The only thing that can get you through that is because you really believe that you're doing this for the right reason and will see a result from it and it's worth it. So I think that's the only honest answer I can give you. Um, there's, there's one more anecdote uh, that I'd like to tell you. There was a stage, and I'm trying to remember, I think it was in around May. Dibang, when was the screening for Gopal and Leela and all the, the Amod Khan? Was it about May 2013? So in around May 2013, I had what, what is uh, called a rough cut, which was a first putting together of the material, and the film at that point was running at 90 minutes. And Dibang and I showed the film at a very small hotel in Delhi for a very private, select by invitation only private uh, um, audience. And that, that audience was not an audience, it was our interviewees. So we brought together uh, Ahmad Khan and Gopal Subramanian, and the people basically who were in the film. And the reason that we wanted to show it to them at that stage was we still had an opportunity to change things. And we wanted to know from them, is it balanced? And how will India react to this film? Because that was very important. As I, te as I said, I made it as a gift to India, so it was very important for me to know that, you know, it's, it's respectful. Um, and in that room, there were three waiters. Basically, we hired the little conference room with the deal. They gave a screen, a projector, and some snacks for our 15 people, however many we were. There were three waiters standing, uh, not standing, but busily putting out the pots and the snacks and the plates, and we were about to start the film. So I went up to them and said, you know, please go, to the, go, go back to the kitchen, come back in one and a half hours, because we don't want you putting things out while we're watching the film, we want silence. And I went and sat down and we started the film. And about two minutes later, I happened to glance to my right, and I saw that those three waiters were still there. They were rooted to the spot, and for one and a half hours, those three waiters were riveted to that screen, a film that is half in Hing English, half in Hindi. They didn't move, they didn't move a muscle, and at the end, of the screening, one of them came up to me, he was very visibly shaken, and he asked me please to accompany him upstairs because I had to pay, so I had to go with him to the credit card machine, and we went in the lift, and in the lift, he said to me, ma'am, you have made a beautiful film, a heart-touching film, and I said, I'm really grateful, I'm, I'm grateful to hear that, but it's very important for me to know from you, you watched the whole film, please tell me, tell me truth, honestly, will this film make you think about how women are treated in your family and in your country? And he said, and I'm quoting word for word, he said, ma'am, it surely will, and I will surely change. That is what that waiter said, and that's my most cherished response to this film so far. Much more dear to me, even than the eloquent and spectacular words that Meryl Streep has said about the film, that Amal Clooney has said about the film, that Emma Thompson has said, much more important to me, what Rajat the waiter said. Thank you. Thank you very much. If there are no more questions, I think we're done. Okay. And some shocking comments were made by Nirbhaya's rapist. In fact, let's now listen in to the response of Nirbhaya's parents to those remarks.
Almost two years after horrific rape of Nirbhaya, we have with us her parents. Shocking statement coming in from Mukesh, one of the accused, saying girls should not come out at night, and that is the punishment which was meted out to Nirbhaya. ये जो shocking statement आया है एक accused का Mukesh का जहाँ पे बोल रहा है कि लड़कियों को बाहर नहीं आना चाहिए, और इसी वजह से उन्होंने Nirbhaya को target किया, आपकी बेटी को target किया, इसके अलावा बोला कि रात को disco नहीं जाना चाहिए, रात को नहीं निकलना चाहिए, चार दीवारी में बंद रहना चाहिए लड़कियों को, किस तर देखिए उसके लिए ये कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है क्योंकि वो है ही ऐसे वो इतना गिरा हुआ इंसान है क्योंकि उसके लिए कुछ भी बोलना किसी के प्यार और लगाना कोई मायने नहीं रखता क्योंकि जो ऐसा घिनावना काम करके और जेल में रहते हुए ऐसा बयान देता है तो उसके लिए कुछ भी कहना किसी पे आरोप लगना कोई मायने नहीं रखता लेकिन जहाँ तक लड़कियों के नौ बजे निकलने का है चाहे कुछ करने का है तो आज ऐसे ही लोगों के वजह से आज देश में ये हालात है एक तरफ तो होता है एक बहुत बड़ी बात ये है कि निर्भया के ऊपर एक कानून बना एक न्यू रेप लॉ बना उसके बाद एक निर्भया फंड भी बनाया गया है कई लोग मानते हैं कि कैपिटल पनिशमेंट यानी फांसी पे नहीं लगाना चाहिए इसका कारण ये बताते हैं कि एक बदलाव होना चाहिए पर ऐसा तो नहीं लगता कि कोई बदलाव इस आदमी में आया है किसी तरह का भी एक रिग्रेट है जो लोग कहते हैं वो लोग या तो गलत सोच रखते हैं या तो ऐसे उनके साथ हुआ नहीं है जिसके साथ होता है उनसे कोई किसी उनको लेना देना नहीं है ये कहता है कि अगर हम लोगों को फांसी हो जाएगी तो महिलाओं के लिए खतरा हो जाएगा लेकिन मैं ये कहना चाहती हूँ कि अगर फांसी नहीं होएगी तो मैं दावे के साथ कहती हूँ कि ये महिलाओं के लिए इतना दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण ये होगा कि लोग खाने की प्लेट की तरह इस्तेमाल करेंगे और फेंक देंगे तो इनको फांसी होनी चाहिए हमारा तो सरकार से न्यायपालिका से यही रिक्वेस्ट है कि इनको जल्द से जल्द फांसी देंगे इनको क्या जो भी इस ऐसे मामलों में जेलर से बात है जो काफी एक तरह से एक जो एटीट्यूड में बर्ताव है जो कि रिपेंटेंस है वो होना चाहिए तो वो नहीं दिख रहा है निर्भया के पिता हमारे साथ हैं इस वक्त एक इस तरह का जो स्टेटमेंट आया क्या मानते हैं किस तरह की सजा होनी चाहिए आप लोग कब काफी देर से बोल रहे हैं एक फांसी की सजा देनी चाहिए एक मैसेज जाना चाहिए सोसाइटी को इतने लाखों लोग निकल के आए भारत वर्ष में अब आप कैसे मानते हैं कैसे देखते हैं जहां तक सजा की बात है हम लोग क्या सजा दे सकते हैं हमारी अगर सजा देने की प्रणाली होती हम सजा देने वाले होते तो उसको वही सजा देते जो हमारे बेटी को सजा वालों दिए हैं जैसे वो किए वैसे उनके साथ में करता लेकिन हमारी शासन व्यवस्था है हमारी न्याय व्यवस्था है और वो क्या सोचती है उन लोगों के ये हमारे एक निर्भया की बात नहीं है ये पूरे समाज के ऊपर उसने उंगली उठाई है और चैलेंज कर दिया कि अगर उसको फांसी दी जाती है तो महिलाओं के लिए क्या होगा लेकिन हम ये कह रहे हैं कि अगर वो इस काम को अंजाम नहीं दिया जाता है उसको फांसी नहीं दी जाती है तो तो कोई मन चला आएगा वहाँ पकड़ेगा किसी औरत को बिस्तर बना लेगा औरत बिस्तर बन जाएगी तो आगे क्या होगा देश का भविष्य क्या होगा देश को खतरा ऐसे ही लोगों से है जो अंतरिक्ष अंतरिक्षीय खतरा अब ये स्टेटमेंट आया है तो आप क्या दोबारा सरकार से मिलेंगे कई कई नुमाइंदे हैं उनसे मिलेंगे क्या आ, क्या कि, किस तरह का कदम उठाना चाहते हैं हम सिर्फ ये कदम उठाना चाहते हैं कि सरकार से भी मिलेंगे अब हमें हर एक से मिलना पड़ेगा और मिलेंगे हमारी एक ही मांग है की कि कि किसी भी तरह से इनको फांसी दो और कोई रास्ता नहीं है uh, that was Nirbhaya's parents. They are obviously very, very upset and they say they will speak to the government. They will perhaps take this entire fight to, to, to the very finish. But at this point of time, they say that justice needs to be done. <coughs> Kamaljit Sandhu in Delhi for headlines today.